this is the Moss Stitch Shawl, which is dedicated to Granny D. I hope you all know and love Granny D as I do. We start with a chain of two. We do three single crochets in that very first chain. Chain one, turn. We do two single crochets. I need a better tablecloth. In the first single crochet, chain one, skip one, two single crochets in the last single crochet. And you might have to search for it in this uh, first row. Chain one, turn. Two single crochets in the first single crochet. Chain one, skip one. Single crochet in the chain one space. And the chain one space comes after, uh, it's usually between two Vs. And, uh, you know, once again, it helps to have a larger hook. I'm using uh, some leftover three weight yarn. I would recommend a, a heavier yarn. I would uh, recommend a hook that is quite oversized for <clears throat> the yarn. This is a, a K hook, 6.5 millimeter. When I uh, did the other samples in worsted, I used a nine millimeter. I sort of wish I had a larger hook right now. Now I did my two single crochets in the first uh, single crochet chain one skip one a single crochet in the chain one space chain one skip one two single crochets in the last single crochet and now I chain one turn two oops let me do that one a little better pull that loop a little tighter two single crochets in the first single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, skip one, single crochet, or two single crochets in the last chain one space. And that is really our repeat. Chain one turn, two single crochets in the first single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the chain one space chain one, skip one, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, skip one, go all the way across until the last thing you have is <clears throat> the two single crochets in the last uh, single crochet from the previous row. And what you're going to do is another chain one, skip one, and put two single crochets in the very last one. And you can see here, we have the beginnings of a right triangle. And you can do it, you, doing the same thing, as many rows as you want. You can make it as large as you want. So I'll just do another one. Chain one, turn. Two single crochets in the first single crochet chain one, skip one, single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next chain one space, 
chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, skip one, two double crochets in the la or single crochets in the last single crochet. So I'm going to do a few more rows of this off camera and then I will um, if this is just a sample piece, I will then show you how to um, end it, okay? Okay, here we are. I've done a few more rows. And let's say we've made this as big as we want. And remember, you just keep going until you have reached the size that you want. So for the very last row at the top, the hypotenuse, if you will, you do your chain one turn. You do your same two singles in the first single. And then you do a single in every single crochet and in every Oops. That was a third single crochet in the same uh same one. Okay, yes. Here's a chain one space, and then you put it into the next single crochet. So what you're doing is putting a single crochet into every single crochet and every chain one space. And since this is small, I will just finish up and see sometimes you have to hunt for where to stick it in okay there we go usually you can tell the single crochet is where there's a v the chain one space is between the V's. Then there's a V for a single crochet. There's another chain one space. There's another single crochet. And then here we are at the last single crochet and we're going to put two single crochets there. And now our piece is finished. You can see this texture. I will show you You can see the texture better in this full-size piece that I did last week. You can see how it has a give to it and it's really beautiful. Now, optionally you could also do a single crochet border down the other two sides, or you could do a fancier border if that uh, floats your boat. Um, you could also do some sort of a, a tassel or a pom-pom at um, any of the points if you like that. That sort of thing doesn't really appeal to me, um, so um, all of the ones that I have done, I've just left them uh, with a simple edging. And this is really all you need to know to do a moss stitch uh, um, shawl. Hours of endless fun. And it really does work up quickly once you get into a rhythm. And so I want to thank you for watching me. And um, as always, like, subscribe, comment, share, and keep coming back. Bye-bye now.